the biggest benchmarking that you can do is uh, with yourself, with your own, within your own organization. Meaning, yes, um, establish your own baseline benchmark. Where do you stand today? What is your NPS score? What is your CSAT score, right? And that has nothing to do with what the industry benchmark data is, right? I mean, that is not going to impact your current baseline score. The next thing that we have seen is that based on the aspirations, how aggressive the organization is, what is your risk-taking appetite, right? How ready are you as an organization to implement those changes that customer experience program will need and demand you, uh, demand the organization to implement at the ground level, right? Depending on all of those things, set up your goal. I think there was a slide in there where you were showing 90% is the goal and we're at some about 75%, right? Let's say that is your baseline 74 point, whatever that score was, and you want to be at 80. Before you get to 90, let's set up as 80. That's achievable, right? I think setting up benchmarking with your own self, within your own organization, is such a great way to basically rally everybody around a common goal, get that excitement going, as long as you can define the end result of reaching that milestone, right? And if you hit 80, you want to then set to 85, set a timeline. But here's the more interesting thing. If the industry benchmark is, let's say, 90 or 85, right? The interesting thing is it has very little uh, impact on your own uh, business strategy. You may then approach towards breaking the industry benchmark, but then always make sure you are measuring the outcome of what that should result for your overall business, right? What customers say to what they do is such an important piece here. As long as you have those strategies and methodologies in place, I think, look, set your own goalpost. It's almost like we just went through Olympics, right? If anybody saw that high jump uh, between Italy and uh, Qatar, it was such a great program, right? It is literally setting up benchmarking is exactly like this. Once you have hit that uh, touch point, that high point, you want to set the next level, the next level. And that is determined by your own zeal and enthusiasm within the organization, how quickly you want to get to those issues being resolved and the ensuing benefits to come from it.